everybody, and welcome back to some more Rise and Roll with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. I am your host, Dory, and let's go ahead, let's hop inside the game here, guys. Um, today I'm going to do something a wee bit different, and hopefully you guys can all hear me. Um, doing two separate microphones this time. One is attached to my head, well, more or less a uh, pair of headset, keep the noise at a uh, proper level, so in case my neighbors are sleeping or anything of that sort, they can sleep straight through this. I kind of like to stay as quiet as I possibly can over here. So, yeah, that's the thing. Today in this episode, guys, we're going to go over some NPC commands with you guys. So, hope you guys are all set and ready for this once the world loads up. Okay, first things first is I'm going to do GM1 right off the bat. Because that sounded like I had something up my tail over here. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, first thing we're going to do as far as spawn NPC goes, um, F2. This isn't Minecraft. You have to hit F2 to fly. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys are all ready for this today, okay? Um, I want to find myself somewhere that we could uh, set this up at. Let's just say we do spawn NPC. We're going to do spawn NPC, then we're going to type in bandit, okay, because this is a bandit town, and then I'm going to do, turn this thing off, and we need to freeze a NPC, okay, so, um, hold that thought. NPC. Okay, so first thing I want to do, now that I have all this thing set in here, I'm going to lock him so I can work with him, Rick. Okay? Um, F2 down, and let's go work on our bandit, guys. So, let's head on over to him, and let's see what he's got, alright? He's got a bow on him. He's wearing himself a leather outfit. Probably not the best in the world. Shut up in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to type in a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I got a special outfit that, for this guy. We're going to say he's coming from our towers that we were working on previously, okay? Um, I'm going to type in... And, all right, so I'm going to hit a control V. What this is going to do is edit NPC clothes. It's going to give him a tux jacket, tux pants, and a tux shoes. Let's hit enter. Bingo, bingo, all right. Now we can edit our NPC for sure, all right. I think I want this guy to have something, all right. I think I want him to have something, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give him something else. I'm going to say, give NPC item, and we're going to hit in M14. And here we go. So now he's holding that right there. He's kind of frozen in place, but... <laughs> I think he'd work great for a casino. What do you guys think? Let's change the color of that hair. We're going to do edit NPC. And from inside of here, we can change the gender if we wanted to. Uh, we can make it a female. We can do a male. So I think we're going to stick with the male. Let's see what we can do with that hair there. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. You know, he's kind of sharp. Let's try to swap out the uh, clothing, co the hair color. Okay, let's give him like black hair, maybe, or brown. Um, let's try that a little bit lighter. Um, let's give him black hair, you know, just for the funsies of it, okay? Hair one, hair two. We can mess around with his hair here a little bit. So you guys are kind of learning the ins and outs if you wanted to see. <laughs> um, let's see about that beard. What can we do? Beard one. He's sharp cut, guys. He's sharp cut. Beard two. We can do beard three. Let's see what this is. He's got a soul patch now. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna give him some crowbar hair. That on that. And let's see what we can do for this. You know, he's a. Uh... All right. So let's try hair four. Yeah. Okay. So this is our guy. He's the uh, ambassador. Let's see. Give me a moment, please. All right, guys, I'm back. The game was just crashing for some reason. I don't know what that was all about, but 
Uh, it looks like our guy, he's pretty much set for the most part. Um, what I want to be able to do, though, is give this person a name. And we're going to type in one more time, edit NPC. And we're going to give this person a name. We're going to say this name is, let's call him Eric. Okay, we'll call him Eric. All right. Um, we got his hair type already set. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and unlock him and do this right here. All right, so Eric, he's like the uh, embassy person. He's coming over here. He's got his gun out. I don't know what his issue is. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We got Eric. He's the guard. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sign for all of you guys out there to show you guys what these uh, things are. Um, let's see here. Is, are the signs underneath this? Yes. All right. Let's get ourselves a nice good white one that we can uh, see what it says. All right, um, guidepost, no, wooden sign. All right, let's see if we can get a nice good one that we could all read here. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and place this sign down, and I'm going to share with you guys what these commands are. So we're, we got one, we got two commands. All right. Now let's go over to this. Let's go ahead and put this in here. So, to add the clothes, guys, if you wanted one of the talks, we're going to start off with Edit NPC Clothes, okay? This is your first command that you're going to need. Now, for like, if you wanted to add the tux thing, make sure you put a space bar in front of Edit NPC Clothes, and then you're going to type in tux underscore jacket. Um, and then you can hit a space bar again. You're going to type in tux underscore pants. And once again, you know, you have to add these things in one at a time. Sometimes you can add them all in one, one go. But we're going to go ahead and do another space bar real quick. And we're going to do um, tux underscore um shoes okay so that's everything that you'll need right here for ad editing the npc close eric is a good combination of this so here we go edit npc close is what you're going to need for that and if you wanted to you can even add the shoes if we can work on that no all right so this one again you're going to do this one separately you're going to do edit npc close and from this we're going to go ahead hit down and we're going to type on this one add fedora and we weren't able to do this last time we didn't add the fedora on him because we i kind of didn't want to add that on but if you want to add something you can add like a hat to him and let's get another sign going here let's put this one down and we're going to go ahead and hit four. All right. Now, this one right here, guys, is to give your NPCs an item. Okay. If you wanted to give them a rake, if you wanted to give them anything of that sort, um, you can just do this. Give NPC item and make sure you go on the... Um, on the Rise and World commands on Steam, um, it has a list of all the items within the game. So if you wanted to give him an M14, or if you wanted to give him a repeater, these are the stuff and things that you would put in for it. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and create that. So give NPC item is to give him like a weapon or something of that sort. We have a. Uh, we have someone over here that what's that Dagaline did. She, if you give a uh, NPC like this a rake, for some reason they'll automatically come out and they'll look, they'll pick a random spot and they'll look like they're doing yard work. It's kind of random, but it's awesome at the same time. Now, where did Eric disappear to? Okay. 
Anybody see where Eric disappeared off to? We've seen him drop, walking off. Okay, we got Greybeard in there. We gave him a scythe. Um, I don't see where Eric went to. I mean, that's how I kind of edit my NPCs in here. Here he is. He's just walking around aimlessly. Hey, Eric, come here. Um, all right, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to do that again. Will you stop moving? All right, thank you, Eric. So let's go ahead. Let's move up in front of him because we didn't give him a hat. All right, he's got his hair ready. He looks like he's ready for battle, but there's only one thing that's missing. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this how it works. So we're gonna do give no no not give. We're gonna hit add NPC clothes. No edit NPC clothes. I am so sorry, guys. Mess that one up. There you go. Edit NPC close. And then we're going to hit add fedora. Bingo. So now he's got like a suit. In a, so he looks like he's ready for a safari kind of. But you can see guys. Eric he is. Let me see something here. Boom. Eric he's kind of set. You know, I think he's set, guys. I think he's set. He's well set for the road. What do you think? What do you think, my man? You ready? You look like you're ready to head out. <laughs> look at him. There you go, guys. Good screenshot right there. That's how you edit your NPCs, guys. That's how you edit your NPCs. And if I was in survival mode, he'd probably take that gun and start shooting me with it. But he has, he has to be unlocked to do that. Um, so edit NPCs, add fedora. We did that. We gave him a repeat. We gave him an M14. Um, you can edit his clothes. Again, all of the items that you can give NPCs are the same exact ones that you'll find elsewhere in the uh, pretty much the game files. Just make sure you look on Steam for that. There's a uh, list of all of that under the console commands provided by Red51. And thank you guys all for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Next episode, I want to head off and do some work on the uh, towers. So I guess I'll see you all there. Later.